Greetings and welcome to another edition of Black Talk Radio, where black media matters and black lives definitely matter. Today is Friday, April 20th, 2018. For those of you who know the actual date, that is 420. Today is our day. Well, today's discussion is about YouTube. That's right, YouTube ads for hundreds of brands that are still running on extremist and white nationalist channels. Now, black YouTubers, we've been saying this far too long. We've been making this claim that YouTube really targets black channels. Why is that? We seem to be the focus of everyone's target. Black people. That's just how much power we have. They're always watching us, they're always listening to us, and they're always trolling our channels. We know this. But YouTube, in and of itself, as a business model, their platform, well, they've been targeting our channels while allowing the extremist and white nationalist channels to thrive with ads on their channels. So let's get into this story. Well, ads from more than 300 companies and organizations have been running on YouTube channels that promote extreme content, including white nationalists and Nazi ideas, pedophilia, conspiracy theories, i.e. Alex Jones, and North Korean propaganda. The new revelations come from a CNN investigation, which found that companies such as Adidas, Mozilla, and Under Armour were affected. Five United States government agencies also had their ads placed on extremist videos, as did religious organizations and some film studios. Many of the companies said they did not know their ads had been placed on the videos and were taking action to figure out why they were placed there. When companies advertise with YouTube, they can forget their ads I'm sorry, when they, you, I'm sorry, they can target their ads based on user behavior and demographics. They can also block specific channels and choose a sensitive subject exclusion filter, according to CNN, which should prevent ads from appearing on certain channels. So, in other words, they have the ability to do this, but, as I stated before, and I'll stick to this point, is that they are too busy targeting black channels. Especially black channels who tell the truth. Now, I know there's some white YouTubers out there who will argue against this point and say, no, no, my channel gets targeted too. We know that. We know that. But by and by, and at large... And on a larger scale, black YouTube channels are targeted far greater. That's the point. YouTube said it wants to work with advertisers to control inappropriate content. But it did not address how the latest issue occurred. Well... This isn't the first time companies have found their ads placed on extremist content. Last year, hundreds of companies cut back on their YouTube ad buys after they learned their advertisements were being placed on controversial content. But after that incident and others like it, advertisers returned to the platform. Of course, because that's what they do. YouTube's massive user base and the billion hours of video watched each day makes it a crucial platform for advertisers. And this is primarily why black YouTubers have stuck with YouTube as well, because it is a large platform. Anyways, this time, companies such as Under Armour are again saying they will pause advertising on YouTube until they can determine what happened. Quote, we have strong values led 
we have strong values-led guidelines in place and are working with YouTube to understand how this could have slipped through their guard rails, a spokesperson for Under Armour told CNN. We take these matters very seriously and are working to rectify this immediately. So Under Armour is definitely not liking their ads placed on just any of these channels. Anyways, YouTube has taken other steps this year to address the issue of extremist content on its site. In January, it changed the rules to restrict which video makers could earn money from ads and said it would have people remove all of its most popular videos. Well, again, I'll state this for one last time, maybe. <laughs> YouTube has targeted mostly black YouTubers. This is how white supremacy works. It targets its black base. We seem to be the threat to uh, paranoid white culture. And we have to ask itself, why are you so paranoid? What is it that you've done? Is there something that you need to say? But I digress. And they say that the system appears to be working in strange ways. One screenshot shows a video by a self-avowed Nazi entitled David Duke on Harvey Weinstein exposing Jewish domination, black, white, genetic differences. Below it, a YouTube warning states that, quote, certain features have been disabled for this video, unquote, including comments and sharing because of content that may be inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. A cheerful ad from Nissan is running ahead of this enlightening piece of media and CNN notes that ads also ran on it coming from the Friends of Zion Museum and the Jewish National Fund. Ads from the Toy Association ran on the channel of a guy who argued for the decriminalization of pedophilia. Now, can you hear this crap? And see, again, it's because they're too busy targeting black channels who are trying to disseminate the truth. But I digress. It says, I can't really add anything to this. It's so absurd, I can barely believe it myself. Remember this after the company supposedly spent a year, at the very least, working to prevent this exact thing from happening. I left the headline in the present tense because I'm so certain that it's still going on. The responsibility really is YouTube's and if it can't live up to its own promises companies are going to leave it behind rather than face viral videos of their logo smoothly fading into a swastika on the wall of some sad basement dwelling creature or bigot rather. <laughs> Subway, eat fresh, <laughs> and now some guy's thoughts on genocide. <laughs> oh man, the, this is just too funny. Okay, so some of the other brands that had ads ran against offensive content was Amazon, Adidas, Cisco, Hilton, Hershey, LinkedIn, Mozilla, Netflix, Nordstrom, The Washington Post, The New York Times, 20th Century Fox Film, Under Armour, The Center for Disease Control, The Department of Transportation, Customs and Border Protection, Veterans Affairs, and the United States Academy. Well, YouTube was asked for a comment on how this happened, or rather, how it never stopped happening. And, well, you know the drill. Nothing said yet. Well, anyways, thanks a lot for listening to this story. And thank you for joining Black Talk Radio, where black media matters. And join us again on another video. This is Guru. Peace out.